Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. Today's video, I'm going to go over this brush comb I made right here. I put it on my bucket on the CTX 50 to pop out these manzanitas. <laughs> Okay, here we are, beautiful time of evening. Uh, this job right here is how to make this property a little more fire safe. And what the task is, is to remove all these manzanitas in the background. They're actually not very big. They're only like a foot or two tall, maybe an inch or less. And I'm gonna use the CTX-50 and I kind of designed a new like brush comb, I guess you would call it. So here are the manzanitas right here. Um, if you can see that stock, you know, maybe an inch or so diameter or less. Um, but there are just hundreds of them. Beautiful sunset, though. So I have a pretty good idea on how to build a blade that's going to get around them and pop them out. And then just drive around and pop them out. And either haul them away or burn them in a burn pile. Okay, it's kind of what I'm thinking here. Here's a manzanita, kind of average size. Here's a steel cutter blade. It does have that cool bevel on it. Just found this in a scrap pile, but it's super hard. And I had the metal shop at school cut a couple of those notches. And they're just gonna come drive along with their mini skids here, grab it right there, and pop them out. So that looks like a pretty good fit. I thought I'd try a couple different sizes. That's cut with the plasma cutter. And then I'm starting to cut a few more sizes right here with the grinder. Got a trailer hitch. Then I'm gonna bolt this onto the trailer hitch like that. Drive along and then kind of pop them out that way. And this is kind of cool right here. Um, I was trying to figure out a way to attach it to the bucket. And I thought of welding something like this up um, but actually, I went on Amazon. I found this thing on Amazon for probably the cost of the metal. So this just bolts right onto the CTX bucket. This goes on the bottom part. So this is below the bucket. Um, that'll catch that lip on the bottom to weld it on extra plate. Clamp it down. The other thing that's cool about this is with this receiver hitch on the bucket, I could also move the trailer around. Um, or I could swap out and put that knife blade and catch manzanita. So I'm going to grind a little bit, see how this all goes, put it together, put it on the CTX, and then kind of see how it pops out these manzanitas. Um, it's always, I mean, I love making stuff like this. I'd rather spend my time making stuff um, than pulling manzanitas out. So if it makes the job a little easier, that'd be great. I'm going to start grinding. I'm using these cutting wheels right here. Really thin, nice cutting wheels. These things work pretty well. Uh, safety glasses on, hearing protection. Let's see how this goes. Give those a try. Just see how they work. So there it is, bolted onto the receiver hitch on the bottom, kind of like a scoop. You see it here, slide into the receiver hitch, screw it onto the mini skid steer, and then we'll just drive along, pop those things out. See how that goes. I might have to weld a few little tacks on the side of this.
I'm pretty happy with the way it's popping these out. It's not tearing the ground up too much, which is kind of what I wanted. I don't want a ton of dust and uh, destroy everything. Um, it worked pretty well. It obviously pivoted right on that bolt right away, so that's going to have to get welded on there, two attachment points, or balance it out. I'm curious to know how well just a bucket by itself would do. I know it's a teeny machine and it's not really designed for this. I'm trying to get it to do something it's not designed for. But uh, I like it. I mean, I like this little brush comb. I certainly really like this adapter right here. I also um, like it for putting a ball in there to move trailers around off of this bucket. So all in all, I give this thing a pretty good review. It does still need more tinkering. Um, I do love the CTX-50. It is a little lightweight and small. I mean, that's the only downside of it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like, hit the bell for notifications, and subscribe. I'd really like to hear your comments below. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot better ideas. Um, it's amazing how much I learned from reading everybody's comments, you know, on these videos, but also on the, all the videos I watch. So I appreciate you, I appreciate you watching, and thank you. Well, that's kind of the area I got cleared. Like an hour or two. You can tell I didn't tear the dirt up too much. There's a burn pile in the center of it. We got a gl glow of the sun going down. Let's see if you could see that. It's a pretty spot.